Okay, so this video is going to show how to uh, open up the Mavic and take take the gimbal off. Now I have a Mavic here that's already all the screws are out and the gimbal is off, but I can still show you um, what needs to be done. So what you're going to do is uh, you have a hex right here, right here, um, two right here, two right here, and then on the other side you're going to op you're going to unscrew these two same size and then there's uh, there's covers right here okay uh, I'm not sure this is this size though so I'm just gonna do the matching one so you can see what I'm talking about so uh, there's a Phillips screw right here so once you unscrew it just pop it in by by putting the screwdriver in and so if here I'll, I'll lock it up so you can see what I'm talking about once you unscrew it just put the screwdriver in and pop it out so it's so you don't you know bend anything and try to use actually a, um, a little uh, like a little just uh, flat screwdriver and just put it in a hole and then take it out so then inside you're gonna have on each side you're gonna have another hex same size as the rest of them once you have all of those screws out start at the at the at the end and just pop it up and then there's a there's a GPS connector right here you can see it it's already it's already disconnected and then just pull the rest of it out so it's that easy now when you get to uh, let me just move this a little bit when you get to uh, so you're gonna have a gimbal underneath here and um, you have to actually pop four connectors. These are the two connectors that uh, power up the, uh, not just power up, but the control and have the video of uh, on the gimbal. So you just come underneath of it and just pop it up. These connectors are, you know, they're not glued or nothing. They're just uh, tiny little connectors. So you just pop them up. This is actually kind of, uh, this cable is actually kind of, it has a, two-sided tape on it so it's actually kind of glued on it you don't have to touch this at all I just took this whole thing off now these two connectors here which are for the front sensor uh, for the avoidance system these two connectors are actually glued with uh, some kind of a black uh, kind of a gooey um, hot it's kind of like a hot glue but I don't think that's what it is so you just come underneath of it and you pop it out both of them okay Make sure that you pop them out so that all of the black glue comes off and make sure that, just be careful because this cable right here, I'll get it a little bit closer here, this cable where the two connectors are it is very very frail so if you pull it too hard it's going to tear and these two actually go in the front for the, uh, for the avoidance system sensors. Okay, once you do that there are four there are four Phillips screws that hold the gimbal in just unscrew all those disconnect this white cable this is just a uh, it's not white it's like white and black um, here I'll show it to you I should have so basically this is just a this is just a top portion of the gimbal so this this is in this little cable black and white wire cable is in here okay and it's plugged into the connector right here so just unplug that unscrew the four screws and the whole gimbal and everything is just gonna pop out everything is just gonna come out so now I'm showing you this because I got a request from a person who broke one of these things this is the anti-vibration uh, plate that goes into the gimbal now if when I'm working on these uh, this comes in like this and when I'm working on these I basically take there's two screws right here two Phillips screws right here and that's where the gimbal is attached to so the whole gimbal that you see right here is screwed into this portion right here um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna put this on you you have two of the two of the wire connectors that are coming from the actual gimbal that are connected to the controller board um, and it's basically this one is here and this silver one silver connector that has multiple wires 
is plugged plugged in here so what you do is you just like either with a tiny little screwdriver or just with your nail come underneath of it here and just pop it out and just pops out same thing with this connector so both of these come out and then this wire the main wire is actually fed through the anti-vibration plate like this so once you unscrew these two screws from the from from this piece well you're not unscrewing it from here the, uh, this piece is connected to the anti-vibration board only by the four rubber holders so once you um, unscrew these two the whole thing is just gonna come off now some of you guys actually broke this piece off so the whole gimbal is already going to be detached and you're just gonna have to basically uh, uh, disconnect these two connectors and just separate that un unscrew those two screws because they're still attached to the broken piece right here and, um, and just take it off now when you have all these pieces now separate okay what you do is you take uh, you take the anti-vibration board and what I like to do is because it's kind of some people told me says well how do you how do you put those um, how do you put all of those um, rubber rubber bands on so I just position I don't know if you can see you just position this thing right there and what I use is just simple tweezers okay and I just start at the end on the back plate where these two tabs are and what I do is I insert the tweezers into the rubber piece that holds it and I separate it and I'm not sure if you can see this or not and I just slide it on to the connector grab it and take the tweezers off so now you have the first one on and you just move you know you move around and do the exact same thing for all the rest of them so I'm just gonna do that right now take the tweezers and just slide the rubber band on it grab it and oh this one didn't work it, it takes a little bit of patience when you're doing this for the first time so now we have these two those were a little bit harder because they have these tabs on so it's a little bit harder to reach in now these two should be pretty easy so there's one okay so that would be the third one and now we have the fourth one okay so now we have the anti-vibration plate back on and it's secured by the three the four uh, rubber holders so now all you have to do is feed this cable through the little opening that is designed for that just feed it through the silver cable stays outside so you don't feed that through nothing okay and then you just take the the two screws that um, let me see what I do with them I think it's these guys right here so you take the two screws and you oh no they're not the ones um, I have so many screws here that here they are so now you just uh, feed this through and tighten that in and here's the second one and let's do the second one that guy back on okay tighten them so now this cable goes back where it belongs right there and then the silver one snaps right in again a little bit of patience and you'll, you'll get it So now you have all that connected. 
So now just take your Mavic that you took the top off. You're gonna straighten this cable a little bit and feed the that cable back in and that Mavic Mavic's gimbal just goes up and then I happen to have one screw already here so as, as soon as you start twisting it you're gonna actually feel that uh, it goes right in so just do this for all four of them I'm not gonna do all four I'm just gonna do two just to show you and now you just have this cable to connect right here and of course the four that you disconnected and they just kind of align and they pop back in um, and I would suggest that you actually secure once they're in and once you make sure that everything is working I would put back some kind of a um, some kind of a liquid glue a hot glue or something that's gonna hold that connector in there DJI put that glue on top of those connectors for a reason and um, it's uh, most likely so that vibration doesn't actually pop them out come on so yeah there's one Here's the second one, press that down so it kind of sticks again because there's like a two, like I mentioned before, two-sided uh, kind of a tape on those cables to hold them down. So there you have it. So now you have your, your gimbal back with a new anti-vibration um, plate. So that's pretty much it. It takes, I don't know, uh, how long have I been recording? About 10 minutes? Not Probably not even that. So, all right.